Jesse Thistle, the international best-selling author of From the Ashes, is going to share his journey at a fundraising breakfast next month. He joins us ahead of a mental health morning. And thanks so much for coming back to the show because the last time we talked, your book had just come out, From the Ashes. And it is amazing the trajectory that that book has done um, of changing other people's lives. Yes, it has. It, uh, we get emails from all across the globe of uh, people saying how much that it's affected their understanding of people that they've known that s have suffered from complex PTSD, homelessness, addiction issues, uh, lack of, s of sense of belonging. All these things we get letters. The largest demographic that we're never really believed that we would hit would, or were youth. Youth people send us letters all the time and tell us how important that book has been for them. Because the book details, you're literally rising from the ashes. You, you were put into a foster home very early in life. You dealt with homelessness. You were in jail for a while. And now, you, here you are, this best-selling author and an associate professor. Yeah, it's a, it's a journey towards love and belonging. It's, it starts with, as you say, my troubled childhood and then uh, kind of walks through um, my journey of trauma, addictions, homelessness, and then finding love and what that can do to somebody and how emplacement makes people happy and healthy. Yeah. And that's going to be part of your message at a mental health breakfast, which is a big fundraiser for St. Joseph's uh, Healthcare in Hamilton, their mental health campus. It's all about the little acts of kindness. Yes, exactly. So my journey to wellness uh, and back to myself and connecting with my mom and her people was through a small acts of kindness all through my life and how those were almost like signposts or stars that guided me to the safe harbor of what my life is now as a professor, a father, a husband, all those good things that uh, you know us men are supposed to be. And so I show individual acts of kindness and how they were pivotal, pivotal to my success. And an act of kindness can be something, it's not necessarily giving something to somebody, it could be a smile or, or just listening. Yeah, or remembering someone's name or treating them with dignity, you know, and just taking that moment to really be self-reflexive and empathetic and just sit there and recognize somebody else's experience and try to help them for helping them for that sake alone, you know. Do you remember your first kind of, the first act of kindness that somebody kind of helped to turn you around a little bit? Uh, one of them was when I was on the streets and I, I was uh, stealing uh, to feed myself and uh, the shop owner, instead of charging me, gave me uh, the, the materials that I was trying to steal. Uh, it was ground pork and that changed my heart more than the justice system ever did, more than any of the court hearings that I went through. And so I thank that woman because she changed me from seeing that I wasn't stealing from faceless people, there were good people out there, and that they were kind if you would just be up front and talk to them instead of taking. And so she changed me from being, I guess, a petty thief into someone that was starting to respect other people. And that was just one act of kindness, you know, that revolutionized my life and set me on the trajectory I'm on now. Also my wife Lucy reaching out to me when I was in rehab and just wanting to do the best for us. And how when someone believes in you, how that can really fire you up to do good and to help others and to help yourself. So. And your, your new book is, is kind of a love letter, uh, love poems to, to all of those, thanking them. That's right. They're love letters to the people that were kind to me, that helped me on the streets. They're love letters to my wife, Lucy, from rehab when I was trying to win her hand. And then they're love letters to my daughter and people in my new life now as a professor and author and someone who comes on TV and does these cool little spots. So, yeah. Okay, very cool to have you on the show. And again, tickets are available for a mental health morning. It's coming up on Thursday, February 2nd, and we'll get to all the details at, uh, from St. Joseph Foundation up on our website at chch.com. Jesse, you are a treasure. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me.